Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn, Let Better Certified Instructor and former professional tour player and today I want to give you some tips on how we can stay away from those slices and those hooks. It is really the same drill just with a different foot and I love these because they're so simple, you can do them on the range, you can even do them in your practice swings on the course and I've used them over the years of actually playing professionally myself all the time because it's just very non-technical and it's a much more feel-based drill so let's jump into it. Alright, so these are super simple and I've talked about these before, but again, they're such standards and staples that really help, especially amateurs that have a hard time with very technical drills. So number one, I want to establish why you're slicing it. You're slicing it because you're coming into the ball from the outside and over the top. So we're going to take it back tendency wise. People that slice it go back um, more to the inside, roll the club in, which isn't you know, ideal, but then they're a little bit behind themselves and then their body knows they got to get forward. So they're kind of coming over the top and they have this like pulley over the top sensation and coming into the ball. So the path is obviously the main issue here. So in order to correct path in a simple and non-technical way, I like to actually put my left foot forward and my right foot back. What that's going to do, it's going to restrict me from rotating super hard and rotating too much forward because see how my hip is blocking that. So I want to make sure I almost have no weight on that right foot and I'm putting that that ball pretty much opposite of my left foot. So my weight's really on this foot, not on this foot. So this is just kind of chilling and hanging out back there. And it also kind of opens up that back of the back of the golf swing and lets you feel like you can drop the club in more into out, right? So it's really hard for me to come over the top because it's just like I'm restricted. I can't actually turn that way. So I'm going to hit a ball for you here to kind of show this. And you can do this with an eight iron, with a nine iron pitching wedge, you know, not full speed, full swings, but just little pitches. So see how that naturally had a little draw pattern to it because I'm actually able to drop it in more and go more into out. So if you're slicing it, this is a great drill to even do on the course. Like let's say you're on the course and you swing in your driver and you just cannot find a fairway and it's always somewhere right in the weeds. Do this drill, literally just in your practice swing, stand on the tee box, take a couple of swings like this, feel like you're really dropping it down into that space and swinging out to the, to the right. And again, we're doing exaggerations. This looks, this looks exaggerated because it is exaggerated because when you're struggling, with a path issue, you have to exaggerate it to actually be close to what you want to be at in your actual swing. Same exact drill for the actual hook problem, because the hook is essentially the miss of people having a path that is more out to from in. So it goes more out to in. It's the opposite kind of eight, if you will, like eight, of eight figure, figure eight. <laughs> it's the opposite figure eight, which goes more out to in. So we want to make sure that we change that into out path by doing the same thing with your right foot forward. So you take your right foot, you put it opposite of your ball and you take a nine iron, your pitching wedge, and then you're actually putting your left foot behind you. And again, that will pretty much restrict you from dropping the club too far inside because it's really awkward. It's really hard for me to be back here. It, it puts me more into this openness of my golf swing. It opens up the left side. So now it actually is a lot easier for me to keep my hands, even taking it back, take my hands more in front of me and have them come down more in front of me and more out to in. And that actually had a little bit of a fade to it because it naturally sets me up for more of an out to in path. So again, these drills are super simple. These are field drills. They're great for on the course. They're great for just before golf round if you don't want to change too much. And you can slowly figure these things into your game as you're going along throughout your round. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on these simple drills and how to fix your draws and your slices on the course with very simple feel-based drills. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. I can't wait to get into the next session with you guys.